Hello, in this iClone video, I will show you how to create a realistic daylight scene by properly using sky maps, directional lights, global illumination, and more. So let's start. So we have our iClone open here. We always start with a blank scene. And always note that each time you're trying to create a daylight scene, you make sure you switch off all the default lights in the scene, such as key light, rim light, or directional lights. So first of all, what we do is you go to your content and under content, you go to sets and under sets, you go to sky. And since we want to create a daylight scene, a clear daylight scene, we go for the clear day sky. So you just drag and drop. After you've dragged and drop, then the next step, we get our scene. And I'm, I'm, I'm using a desert scene. So you can go to your props and you drag and drop. But for my case, I already have my scene in my scene prepared. So what I do is go to and I switch on my scene. And as we have it here, it's dark because there are no forms of light in the scene yet so to lighten up this scene what do we do first we go to our lights we go to our directional lights and how do you get your directional light you can either come to create or under light it shows you different types of light but in this case since we are creating a daylight scene we will go to directional lights. I have my directional light in the scene already, so I will activate it. Now, we can see our directional light has been switched on, but it still doesn't look appealing and realistic. So next step, you go to global illumination. You go to global illumination. Right now, global illumination is switched off. And because it's switched off, you can see that the shadows are very dark. And we are losing a lot of details. We need the shadows to be lighter. So we can have details on the surrounding rocks. So we switch on the global illumination. And at this point, you see that the intensity here is too much. So what you do is you go to the diffuse, the bounce light, you reduce the bounce light. So let's say 0 0.6. We still don't, we are still having dark shadows here. So what the next step is that we go to ambient light color and we use a lighter color, like let's say a gray, but a lighter, a lighter shade. Now, you see that we are having brighter, lighter shadows here. But we are trying to get lighter shadows in the whole scene. So how do we spread the light across the whole scene? So that we don't have different shades. What we do is we go to the GI here. Under the GI, we walk, we touch, we walk on the range, and we increase the range. And now we see we've successfully eliminated the dark areas of the environment. So the next step, we are going to work with our IBL. So we're going to activate the IBL. So once we activate IBL, we now see it gives a lot of intensity and makes the scene more realistic. But in case if you feel that your scene is ha is too is losing details due to the intensity, you can go back to the scene tab and you go to 
directional light once you click on directional light we can work on the multiplier and we can reduce the value of the multiplier from 6.20 to either 4.20 now we are now seeing that the intensity is dropping a little we can go lower let's say 2.20 now we've reduced the intensity to gain more details from the environment as you can see it's not too it's not too bright it's just perfect for this type of scene we are trying to achieve the next step is you can go to hdr hdr is to give you that atmospheric environmental realism so we have our hdr here all you do is just work with the values you can change the values to your desired for what you want to desire so let's say for instance we want to make it more atmospheric you can increase the bloom scale a little now the bloom scale gives it that um, atmospheric feel it looks organic it looks very very organic and here we have it these are the key steps needed to follow in order to achieve daylight scene in iClone. And also remember, start your project empty. Start your project blank. Start your project with all the default light off. Always remember that that is something you need to consider and it's, it's always good that when you are working in real time you activate everything that shows you how the final product or the final render will be unless if your system is not capable of taking it it's very important that you visualize whatever you see in real time so that you can actually understand the results before rendering. So always remember that. Always activate all your effects in real time so that you can get to customize and to do all your tweaking. We work with the IBL hdr directional lights those are very important so thank you for watching this tutorial 